What's going on guys, Zeshin here. So the new King Hearts 2.8 trailer came out and it was fucking awesome. Um, I just saw it once um, because I just woke up a little while ago and apparently it's, that trailer's been up for a while because it was all over the place. And I'm going to watch it again now with the internet. And I'm just going to kind of point out things that I noticed before and also react to it again because I tend to get emotional. When I watch these things, and that's my dog there in the background, I don't know if you can see it after I edit this video, but he's right there, his name is Podge, and he's cute. <laughs> so now, let's get started. I'm going to hit play right now. Complete this task, and return here safely, so and I will here. name you both True Masters. You can leave this one to me. Hmm? It just looks like the other HD versions of uh, the other games. Just you know, it's a 3DS game that they remastered. Isn't it? Daily saying all that stuff. Now it's on the PS4. Nothing special about this one. Uh, still gonna have fun playing it on PS4 though. Continuing on. Take this. Just stop it. You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf, but they're not. <gasps> Are you? Be gone. This part's exciting because we finally get a look at Aqua and what she sounds like. And it's from what it sounds like, Willa Holland is back to voice her. So I was worried if she's going to be too busy with Arrow because you don't know if she's a star in that show. So I don't know if she's going to be able to come back or not. I didn't see why she wouldn't be able to, but this makes me happy because her voice fits perfectly for this character. Continuing on. <laughs> The rope collapsed when the clock advanced. If only I made it in time. Not even memories. They're safe from the darkness. This looks, the game looks so good just for the short little thing they're doing, but it looks so good and it's a great taste into the engine and gameplay of Kingdom Hearts 3 and I can't wait. Okay. One more night beneath the stars, with my best friends. I'm doing it again. Aqua. <laughs> this world is full of light. What? Did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? That was foolish. I said, that's quite enough. This kind of looks like they're treating it like they did with the Final Fantasy movies where it's full CG, full voice acted, and all the stuff. And since this one's not based on a DS game, it's going to be more of a movie now. It's like, here's a cutscene for the game, kind of remastered, and now here's a whole bunch of just, like, talking, because it's still gameplay parts, but this looks really cool. And it's going to tell a story that we just don't know about quite that much yet. And I can't wait to, to learn about it, because this seems very interesting, and it'll gonna, it's going to tie into Kingdom Hearts 3 more, hence the point of this. And, um, yeah, so let's get back to the, the trailer now. Can't wait for this. It looks so good. Hey, maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Darkness will prevail and the light expire. Each of our copies were said to contain the events of the future. But this incident, well, it's nowhere to be found. You can barely stay on your feet. Just give up already. Why? Why did it have to come to this? Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. We need to defy the Master's teachings to protect the world! You're saying he was wrong? When the time comes, and there is war, you mustn't fight but instead, you must fly away from here to the world outside! And then, the big part at the end. December 16, worldwide. Exciting. So, coming out of here. And then, an 
announced it's coming this winter for Kingdom Hearts 3. So I don't know if that means Kingdom Hearts 3 is not going to be at E3. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't really know about that. Uh, if it's not, that kind of sucks. But maybe we'll at least see a trailer and it's just say, now in development, like it always does. And then we'll get an actual release window, like this one, in the winter. Probably like on a trailer for the, like the launch trailer for this game or something like that. I can see that happening. But yeah, so that's been the new Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailer. It is really awesome. We finally got some gameplay for uh, Fragmentary Passage with Aqua. It looks great. It looks freaking awesome. Can't wait for that. It's going to be the best part of this collection. And then there's the back Kingdom Hearts 2 back cover movie, which, again, I said it looks like like the Final Fantasy CG movies that we've done before. You know, there's like the, the Advent Children one, and then now they're doing Kingsglaive, and... Maybe not, maybe not the same production value or whatever, but it kind of looks like that. It's not not just going to be like, here's a cutscene that's from a game. Now here's some other stuff. Now here's a cutscene from the game, you know. It's not going to be like how uh, 3, 5, 8, Days Over 2, I think that's pronounced it, and um, Recoded were on 1.5 and 2.5 respectively. So, this is exciting. I'm really happy. I love getting new trailers. I'll probably watch this one a thousand freaking times like I have the original Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer from 2013 I've watched a million times and I just keep watching all of them over and over again it makes me excited and it makes me hyped it's probably a good thing because I can get myself too hyped and I'd be disappointed by one of these games I probably won't be because I love these games so much um so yeah that's been uh this trailer and video and that was my dog um so yeah I'm gonna go now so Okay, Podge, well, I'll let you out of my room in a second. He wants to get out of my room, but uh, the door's closed. So, yeah, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.